everyone. I hope you guys are having a great week. As you can tell, I don't have any makeup on, and probably by the title you can see that today I'm going to show you my everyday makeup. I'm in college and sometimes I do not have um, the time to go all out, so I'm just going to show you what I do really, really quickly in the mornings before school. Alright, the first thing that I'm going to do, I've already moisturized, which is very, very important so that your skin doesn't, like, isn't really dry and can absorb, um, what you're putting on it without clogging your pores. I just use my Clinique gel um, lotion that I bought. It's really good. I use it in the mornings and usually that's all the moisturizing I need because I do have dry to oily. So I'm really dry in the mornings but then I get kind of oily in the afternoon. So the first step is moisturize. The second step I want to do is I want to prime my face. I'm going to use Fix Perfect by Rimmel London. and I've only used this a couple times, and it's it looks really orange, but when you put it on, it it doesn't, it's not orange. It, like, goes with your skin color or whatever. So I'm just going to prime my face really quickly. Kind of put it, make sure I get full coverage everywhere. This is going to help make um, your makeup stay on throughout the day. And also, I've noticed that um, it helps make my like makeup a little bit go on a little bit smoother and a little bit less um, like powdery or cakier. So I really would suggest everybody prime their face. This is something I just started doing, and I've totally seen um, a difference in the way that my makeup looks. Sorry about my hair. I tried to pull it back so you guys could see my face, but I haven't done my hair yet, so I'll get to that after my video. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my NYX press powder, which um, is in the My NYX video, if you guys haven't seen that. It just looks like this, and I'm going to take my powder brush. I got this. This came with my um, Bare Mineral set. I really love it. I just cleaned my brushes. And if you don't clean your brushes, I really recommend that you do because afterward, after you clean them, they feel phenomenal. They feel like the first time you use them. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to swirl it in circles, making sure I get everywhere. I always bring my lips in like this because I don't like it, like getting the powder on my lips. I just don't. Sorry, my mirror is over here. I just want to make sure I got everywhere. Yeah. So just make sure that you do it in like a swirling motion. That way you're just not like brushing it and make creating lines. Just kind of want to like buff it out. There you go. Make sure you get under here too so that you can blend it in with your neck so that you don't have a line. I know that um, I don't use foundation in the spring and the summer just because I think it's a little too heavy. So um, I just make sure that I blend it down. And um, usually that's only a big problem for the people who wear foundation. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bronze my face with my little bronzing brush. Now, this looks like this one, but there is a difference. This is my bronzing brush, and this is my powder brush. So, I'm going to take my NYX All Over Sun Kiss bronzer, which is also featured in my NYX video. I'm just going to take it, I'm going to tap it around. I don't want to swirl it because I find that when you swirl it, you might get a little bit more than you need. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to... It's going to be bigger bigger circles because I don't want to buff it on like I did my powder. I just kind of want um, a bronze, sun-kissed look all over. That looks good. You just want to make sure that when you're doing the bronzer, you don't do it like the powder. You want to do like the bigger C's or that's what I, me and my mom call them C's because we just keep going C, C, C. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blush brush. You can see that it's pink on the end just because this is the blush I use. It's from Revlon. I've had it for a while, as you can see. I really do like it. So I'm just going to take it and swirl it a little bit. And then I'm going to take my cheek and I'm going to smile. I know this is kind of cheesy, and you guys might think it's a little cheesy, but I just, I do it. I smile and I find my apples, and then I go up. Swirl the apples and go up. Swirl and go up. Then I just take a little bit and I go like here, take a little bit. Dab my nose and dab my chin just for a little bit of extra, like, flush color so that you don't look pale. I always like to have that um, look like I'm blushing, like, oh, thanks, you know. Um, wow, that was kind of dorky, huh? But that's what I mean, like, you know, like, you want to look like your cheeks are sun-kissed. 
Okay, now I'm going to go to my eyes. When I'm during the school week, I usually just stick with browns. I stick with like a lighter tan color for all over and then I do my crease in a darker brown. And I'm going to use this Clinique right here. And I'm going to be using the Chocolate Chip, which is this color brown, and the Choco Latte, which is this like lighter tanner color. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eye with NYX eyeshadow base. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. You're going to put it all over your eye. Got to get my mirror. I can't see. Also, um, this NYX eyeshadow base is in the pearl. It's got like, it's not just the white one. It's got like a more pearly color, which I really do like. Um, I didn't really care for the white one that much when I tried it in the store, so I just went ahead and got the pearly one. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, this is just like the all over color brush, and I'm going to take the tan color, and I'm going to put it all over my lips. So I have this color all over my eyes, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my crease brush, which, and I'm going to run it in here just a little bit like this. Tap off the excess, and I'm just going to follow my crease with this crease brush. What I taught my sister how to do this um, not too long ago, and she had a hard time doing it. So what I told her to do was put it in your crease like this and open your eye. That way you could just follow the crease. Okay, so I'm just going to take that, and I'm going to run it all over my crease, just like that. Just like that, to see you kind of got the smiley face eyes. So then what you want to do is you want to take, um, I take a bigger brush, like I got this one from e.l.f. and I just like to like ease it up a little bit. Like I don't like it to be that dark. So I just like to take it and like tone it down just a little bit with this brush because I'm not like one of those really, really dark eyeshadow people. I like it to look really um, natural and Calm. So see there, it's not as poppy as it was. Okay, so now I want to take a shinier color and apply it to the bottom of my lid because that's where um, the neutral, the like more beige neutral color went. But I do want to have some color on there. So I'm going to take this champagne color from Victoria's Secret. It's really shiny. And I'm going to take this angled kind of like eyeshadow brush. A lot of people use this for your crease, but I find it kind of hard to use for my crease, so I don't. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to apply it right here just for some shimmer. There you go. Okay. So the last step that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my eyeliner and my mascara. Now, the mascara that I normally use is this Great Lash Big. I think that this Great Lash is the best mascara, and it's been around forever. But I am running out, and it's kind of dry, so I'm not going to use this today. So, I'm going to use the, my Clinique High Impact Mascara, which is just little. It's a little sample size. I'm going to take it, and one thing that I found with mascara is that um, the slower and the more patience you have with it, the better. So I'm just going to take it, I'm going to start in the middle lashes like this, and you just take it real slow. I feel like the slower you go, the more length you get. Even if it's not a lengthening mascara, I still feel like you get a lot of length. I'm going to do my bottom lashes. Um, I don't really have a trick for this. I just kind of, I have really long lashes, so I just kind of take it, and I just kind of dab it on there, just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to apply, um liner to my top because I only like to do that normally in the nighttime. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to run it across my waterline. Okay. As you can see, this is a really simple look. Um, it's um, I'm not very good at doing makeup on the webcam yet, but I'll work on it. This is my first video of me actually doing the makeup, but it's just a really, really simple look, you know. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!